Okay, so we're going to look at secondary storage. So first of all, we're going to look at the need for secondary storage, look at the different types, so optical, optical sorry, um, magnetic solid state, and then we're going to look at some characteristics, so speed, capacity, portability, durability, and reliability. So first of all, why do we need secondary storage? Well, first of all, when we turn off the computer, obviously, all power is lost. And secondary storage is needed to store data when that system is switched off. It's non-volatile, so it retains the content when it's powered off. So it stores things like the operating system, programs, data information, your files, everything that needs to be saved is stored on the secondary storage. So these can be split into three different sections. Magnetic, for example, hard drives, floppy drives, sorry, floppy disks, magnetic tape, optical, CD-ROMs, DVD-ROMs, um, solid state, USB flash memory, uh, SD cards, and solid state drives. So first of all, let's look at hard disk drives. Large capacity. Often nowadays, you can easily get one terabyte plus. Um, it's fast to access the data. It's quite portable, you can get uh, portable hard drives, but I'll put them in because it's not as portable as some of the other ones. Durability, they're quite durable, but after the, once they become quite old, they can start to um, be less reliable. If you drop them, they can be damaged, so I've put them in for those as well. Okay, CD-ROMs, the capacity is 700 megs. Um, speed is it's okay, you have to wait for this disk to spin and everything else, but speed is okay. Portability is very high, you can very easily um, save things onto these CD-ROMs and move them around. Durability, reliability are okay, if they get scratched then um, that's the problem. But providing it doesn't get scratched, they're quite reliable. Okay, so USB memory stick. The capacity nowadays, 16 gigabytes onwards. Speed high, portability high, durability high, reliability quite high, providing you don't um, drop it or break it. So, USB memory is usually quite um, good all round, however, um, capacity is quite uh, low compared to the other ones because it's quite expensive. So, for example, um, a USB memory stick for the price of a certain speed, sorry, a certain size and capacity a hard drive will be far cheaper. Okay, so we've looked at secondary storage. If you need to have any more, um, if you want to know anything else, I will link to the BBC Byte website and to the Cambridge GCSE computing website. Just click one of those buttons and it will take you there.